What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Uh, well, I, I apologize. It's for the sign of Capricorn. It's bonus reading for sign of Caps for um, July of 2022. It can resonate if you have Capricorn in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Haven, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,480 subscribers, I think. Hold on a second. Yeah, 13,480 subscribers. Um, thanks for all the love and support to the channel. If you um, think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly via social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. It helps a single mom with two kids. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Single mom with two kids and one of her income streams um, when you help promote it uh, very publicly via social media and word of mouth. Um, I appreciate and love you guys. I do, I do, I do, do you. Um, like I said, this is free general collective reading um, for the sign of Capricorn. Um, this can resonate if you have caps any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages if they do apply for you, caps. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life situation, how they resonate, if they do. I did receive one um, one channel message in as I was download, um, downloading, ah, as I was meditating on your uh, bonus energy. So I'm going to deliver it. Um, I heard a Capricorn's family member that is a prostitute is about to be arrested soon. They're about to be shot. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, a Capricorn, so if this resonates for you, Caps, you are Caps, and you have Caps in your chart in some shape, form, or fashion, and you have a family member. So it's not you about to be arrested. It is some, your family member, but your family member is a prostitute. Now, I'm assuming spirit messages you have for Sonic Caps. I'm assuming they don't work at the Bunny Ranch in Nevada, like where it's legalized, um, you know, like Nevada, United States. I'm assuming they they live in an area where it's not legal. Legal. Um, I heard they're about to be arrested soon, and you're about to be shot. Now, I didn't hear that they're going to be arrested for prostitution. I'm assuming that's what they're going to be arrested for, but I didn't hear that's what they're going to be arrested for. It could be something else, and maybe the prostitution comes out. I'm not sure. I didn't hear prostitution. They're going to be. I didn't hear that was the charge. Is what I'm saying. So, I don't know what the charger charges are that they're going to be arrested for, but they are a prostitute, and you know they're a prostitute. So, however that resonates, if that applies for you, I heard you're going to be shot. So, however that resonates, it applies to Capricorn. Spirit messages you have some caps. It is about to go downhill very quickly for this feminine energy. It is about to go downhill very quickly for this fem energy. So it's about to go downhill very quickly for this fem energy. Uh, whoever this fem energy family member is that's about to get um, arrested for um, arrested, uh, whether it's the charge is prostitution or something else. Okay, so I'm using tea leaves, animal spirit, and. these that one of my lovely subscribers sent me and thank you so much ma'am just saying so your message is you have a sign up
New policies and procedures coming into play in a healthcare company soon. It's going to shock one Capricorn. Very strict policies and procedures. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Paps. So I think one of you guys works in the healthcare sector, or you know someone that works in the healthcare sector, how that resonates. Because energies can be reversed, re be reversed. So if it doesn't resonate for you, it could resonate for, you know, somebody you're connected to, another Capricorn you're connected to, or someone you're connected to, however that resonates with Lotus. Um, however that resonates. But um, I heard very strict um, policies and procedures are about to come into play in a healthcare company soon. Um, you're not going to like them. You are not going to like them. So you're not going to like the very strict policies and procedures. Whatever they are, Capricorn. I didn't hear specifically what they are. I feel for one, you work in a healthcare company. Um, I do. I feel for one, you work in a healthcare company. And for one, you might know somebody that works in this healthcare company. Um, however, that resonates applies in your life. Okay. So we have Golden Egg, Panther, Purity. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. August, bread, period of prosperity, prosperity and abundance. Number 45 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 45. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 45. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign because this is fire sign energy. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheim, or Jupiter charts. If you are caps. Golden egg. A younger Capricorn, masculine, 30 and below, is about to get the opportunity of a lifetime, job offer of a lifetime. And a younger Capricorn, 30 and below. It's going to open many, many, many positive opportunities for you. Wow, that's beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates. So very, a younger, young Capricorn energy. Y'all know I'm an old woman. I'm almost 39. So whoever you are, you're 30 or below. You could be masculine or feminine. You can have caps at any aspects of your charts. But I heard soon um, you're going to get offered a job opportunity of a lifetime. And it's um, it's it sounds like it's going to be a golden opportunity for you because we have golden eggs. So this is like, I imagine this is like the golden goose. Um that lays the golden eggs, like a Willy Wonka. That's what I um, imagine this as. So your wonderful job opportunity, which is going to lead to many opportunities and growth and potential and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera for you, is going to be a golden egg in your life, whoever you are, Capricorn. You could be masculine or feminine. You could be 30, I heard 30 and below. And that could be a period of prosperity and abundance, possibly, for whoever that's for. That's really beautiful. And a Capricorn thought an air sign was a golden egg, but they're about to turn out to be a dud. And a fire sign. Air sign femme, fire sign femme, 40 and above. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. So if that message applies to you, Caps, you are Caps, masculine or feminine. And you're dealing with an air sign fem, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 40 or above, or a fire sign fem, Aries, Leo, Sag, 40 or above. Um, I heard you thought they were golden eggs. So you thought they were, like, I think they, you thought they were going to bring you in lots of money or 
lots of fame or lots of stature or uh, success in some shape, form, or fashion with the golden egg energy. But I heard you're about to realize they're duds. So actually, you're about to realize their golden eggs reversed. Something very, very, very quick and shocking is about to happen in your life to make you realize this. You're about to make huge changes. Okay, I heard uh, something very quick and shocking is about to happen in your life to make you realize they're not golden eggs. So golden egg reverse. Um, and I heard once this quick and shocking thing happens in your life, Capricorn, if this resonates for you, with this 14 above air sign fem and this 14 above fire sign fem, Aries Leo Sag fem or Gemini Libra Aquarius fem, both 40 and above, I heard you're going to make huge changes. So I think they're going to bring business down or bring revenue down or bring um, profits down or bring popularity down or something, something negative um, because we have golden egg reversed. If something negative is about to happen soon and quickly and it's about to make you realize this, whoever these people are. Okay. Panther. A Capricorn is about to deal with an uh, investigator soon. They're going to want to know the truth. One, you are going to lie and they're going to call you out on it. Know this. They're going to be very pissed when you do this. And no, that's perjury. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to deal with an uh, investigator soon, I heard. Um, it can be masculine fem investigator. I didn't hear um, what agency they're investigating for. It could be the state, the feds, um, local. I'm not sure, but some kind of investigative energy. There's many investigators, many places. So, however, it could be in a company. It could be state. It could be feds. It could be what have you, what have you. It could be child protective services. I mean, I don't know, but some kind of investigative energy. Um, but whoever this message is for, I heard you're going to lie. You're going to lie. But I heard they're going to call you out on it. They're going to be pissed. They're going to be angry in the panther energy. So angry. You see how the panther's all pissed off there? They're going to be very angry. And they're going to call you out. And I heard, no, that's perjury. So when you lie to any investigator, period, point blank, that is perjury. Lying. Um, so no, you perjured. If you make the free willing choice to lie to them. Now, only you know if you're going to end up lying to this investigator or not. Um, and when you lie, negative series of chain of events are going to occur for you. Know this. And when you lie, negative series of chain of events are going to occur for you. So when you lie, it's going to piss this um, investigator off. They're going to go into panther energy. And um, it's going to create negative series of chain of events for you. Now, everybody has the free willing choice not to lie. So if you don't lie, then of course you will be okay. But it sounds like this investigator already knows the truth or they're about to find out the truth after you. And then they're going to come back and create negative series of chain of events for you. They're going to find out the truth. And obviously, you're not going to be the only one they speak to. Um, and I'm just being for real. And for one, you are the investigator. And you're about to come in quick, quick, quick. And for one, you are the investigator. You're about to come in quick, quick, quick. So you plug it in how it resonates. One, you're investigating an alcohol store run by the state. One, you're investigating an, investigating an alcohol store run by the state is what I heard. So for one, you are the investigator and you're coming in with fire side energy. Quick, 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 quick. Um, fire sign energy. Desire, drive, motivation, and quick. Um, as the panther. 
For one, you're investigating an alcohol store run by the state, is what I heard. So like an AA store, um, uh, I forget exactly what it's called. Um, I can see it in my head. Um, I'm not an alcoholic. I don't purvey alcohol stores, but um, at least not very often at all. But what um, I can see it in my head, the one in Madison, but um, I can't think of the name. But I think it's called the AA store. Um, it's an alcohol store run by the state. For one, you're about to investigate that. For one, it's a black magic coven of the past. For one, you work for a healthcare company. For one, you work for the government. Okay. For one, you're going to investigate the alcohol store run by the state. For one, you're going to investigate a black magic coven of the past. For one, you work for a healthcare company and there's some kind of investigation going on or about to go on. For one, um, what was the other one? You work for the government. So some kind of investigation for the government or you're performing something for government. However that resonates, Capricorn. But you're coming in with the panther energy, fire sign energy. Specific significant photos of prostitutes all across the city is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. A case is being built on these people. Know this. For one, you're building the case. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so somebody's been taking photos of prostitutes all across this a city. Um, this could be you taking photos all, of prostitutes all across the city or someone you're connected to. Heard one, you are the investigator building the case on these prostitutes. For one, I think you were a family member connected to these prostitutes or you could be the prostitute. You have to plug yourself in wherever you fit because uh, there's like 13,480 of you guys on here. Uh, as a psychic, I pull the energy in of you guys that watches the channel and that likes my content. Um, just to let everybody know. That's how I pull your energy in is by the liking of the content and the watching of the videos. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Well, okay, so significant photos of, it sounds like a prostitution ring. Um, I don't know if it's run, if it's guys as an escort service or they're doing it independent contractor or they have a pimp or what have you, what have you. And I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm being serious about the pimp. Um, I don't know, never been a prostitute, never want to be a prostitute. But however that resonates, some kind of significant photos of prostitutes all across the city is about to come. Somebody's building a case on these prostitutes. Um, what, and I feel it's one of you guys building a case on these prostitutes for one. For one, I feel you might be a family member or a neighbor or a community member connected to these prostitutes or a coworker possibly. Um, or you are the prostitute. How that resonates. Um, it is about to become a huge case. It is about to become a huge case, is what I heard. It is about to become a huge case. So these prostitutes all across the city, it sounds like they work together or they did work together. There's a reason there's a case being built on all, like a bunch of prostitutes. For one, you could provide you could provide the services of the prostitutes, or you could have in the past. I mean, I don't know. Only you know you're sorting out anybody else. But somehow, significant photos of prostitutes it sounds like all across the city with clients is um well I don't know if the photos are with the clients or not. I'm assuming they are, but I didn't hear that that they were with the clients. Um, but photos of prostitutes all across the city is about to become very significant in building the case. It sounds like a, uh, against these prostitutes is what it sounds like. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And that could be the golden egg energy too, with the if you were the investigator working on this case, building this case. Kudos to you, sir, man. Purity.
Someone has a prostitute working at their health care company right now. This person is about to be arrested soon and they will be terminated because they will be in with no, no bail and no bond. They will be terminated by the employer. For one, you wanted this person in very, very badly and you're about to regret it in a huge way. It will not be in your control. They will be terminated. Oh my lord, why are we pulling in so much prostitute energy? Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, lord, okay, so we've got a prostitute that works in a healthcare company. He heavy healthcare company energy in here, heavy prostitute energy. You plug it in how it resonates. But a prostitute that currently works in a healthcare company. I heard one of you guys wanted this prostitute in the healthcare company. So you wanted this person in wherever they're working whatever healthcare company, there's many different healthcare companies, skilled nursing facilities, assisted living, um, 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 hospitals, um, community health. I mean, uh, well, healthcare, uh, community health would be state, but okay. So it would, healthcare companies would be like dialysis, skilled nursing, assisted living, hospitals, that kind of thing. Not, not so much community health, that's state. Um, but however that resonates, um, you wanted this person in your healthcare company. Um, for one of you guys, it's a family member. For one, it's not. For one, it's a family member. For one, it's not. So for one of you guys, it's one of your family members. For one, it's not. But however that resonates, I think you work in this healthcare company too. And you wanted this person in your healthcare company working, I think, in your company with you for some reason, whether you are their family member or you're not their family member. You wanted them in this healthcare company. But I heard from many series of chain events, they're about to get arrested. Um, and they're going to be arrested with no bail or bond. And it's basically going to create series of chain of events and the employer is going to terminate them. Um, and I heard it's not going to be in your control. So you plug it in how it resonates. One, your position of high authority. One, you're a very, very high position of high authority. It is not going to be in your control. And you want it to be. Okay, so for one, you're a very high position of high authority in this healthcare company. For one, you're a very, very high position of high authority in this healthcare company. I heard you, um, it's not going to be in your control. So the termination of this um, prostitute, whether it's your family member or not your family member, in this healthcare company that's about to get arrested for prostitution or something else, it's not going to be in your control. I heard you want it to be, so you want to keep them even though they were about to get arrested for prostitution, I'm presuming. Um, but I heard it's not going to be in your control. Sounds like somebody else above you is about to take the reins and terminate this person um, for whatever charge or charges they are being about to be locked up for. Um, however that resonates. Holy moly, man. Purity. It is about to become a huge thing. You're actually going to wish, you're actually going to be happy that you were not in control of this. Okay, I heard it's actually going to turn into a huge thing and you're actually going to be happy you were not in control, um, that you were actually out of this. So, I think, here's what I think. I think a prostitution ring is about to get busted up in a city, but... There's some, I think it might be the same one that a huge case is being built on. We are pulling in such heavy prostitution energy in here. Such heavy. So, I mean, one, you could be the prostitute, but I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, you're connected to these prostitutes in some shape, form, or fashion. And I'm just being for real. Some, you work with them. Some, your family members with them. For some, I don't know how you know them, but maybe you know, maybe you provide their services or you did, but. However that resonates, there is a huge prostitution ring in a city. I'll tell you that. And somehow one of them prostitutes on the side and they work in a healthcare company. So they are bringing in the G's, like big time bringing in the G's. Um, if you're working in, I mean, whatever they do in the healthcare company and they're prostituting on the side. I mean, they're, they're bringing in the money, like for real, for real. But um, how that resonates, you're, I heard you're going to be glad you were actually out of it. So I think out of the termination, 
them being locked up, you not having to worry about it, blah, 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 blah. Um, how that resonates, man. This is whew. purity. A wedding is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. And a child's first steps. A wedding is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life and a child's first steps. So wedding, purity, uh, white, uh, white dress, I'm thinking um, energy um, for the wedding. Um, so you could be getting married or somebody you're connected to could be getting married. You plug it in, how it resonates. Congrats whoever's getting married. Um, and a child's first steps. It's about to become very significant. So a child's first steps, purity, innocence of the child, um, very, very young child. I'm presuming probably about nine months to two years old, very innocent child about to take first steps. That's beautiful. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. CHF is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life and two plus and three plus pitting edema. It's about to become very, very, very serious. Oh my Lord, that's terrible. Okay, I heard CHF, which is congest congestive heart failure for anybody who doesn't know that, CHF. Um, and two plus and three plus pitting edema. So if you don't know what pitting edema is, Google it, but it's very... Um, that's serious. Hitting a demon is very serious. Um, so, and it's two plus and three plus pitting edema is conducive with CHF um, symptoms, symptomatic symptoms of CHF. Um, if anybody doesn't know that, um, I'm an RN, so I, you know, trust me, and I've had lots of experience, so I've seen it. I've seen it, and I mean, even if I was a brand new grad, um, that's textbook, but seeing it is a different story. And Trust me, very conducive in the 3D. Um, but anyway, so CHF, which is congestive heart failure, and 2 plus and 3 plus pitting edema is about to become very significant in a um, Capricorn's life. So energy is going to be reversed. So I feel maybe one of you guys has CHF, congestive heart failure, and you're about to develop the 2 plus or 3 plus pitting edema. Um, I'm feeling it's going to be dependent edema whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, absolutely. I feel it's going to be dependent um, um, is what I'm feeling. For some, it could be generalized, but probably dependent is what I'm feeling. Um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, however that resonates. But CHF, congestive heart failure, and 2 plus and 3 plus pitting edema is about to become very significant in Cap's life. Whether it's you about to develop the CHF with the 2 plus and 3 plus pitting edema or somebody you're connected to. How that resonates, okay? An ex-husband is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. And an ex-wife. Very significant verbal arguments here. Very significant bad verbal arguments over children and what they're doing. Okay, so ex-wife and ex-husband energy here. If this resonates for you, Capricorn. So I feel um, one of you guys has an ex-wife, one you have an ex-husband. Um, and it sounds like upcoming in the universe um at least one of you guys um one man one woman one masculine one femme is gonna have um a very significant but it sounds like bad verbal argument with your ex-wife or ex-husband um regarding um what your child or children are doing i'm assuming with your um you know the argument with your ex-wife or ex-husband i'm assuming they're probably doing something the child or children's doing something you don't want them to do um or doing something dangerous and you're about to um, 
verbalize that with your ex-wife or ex-husband. So indecisive, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. I'm feeling that's the child or children energy. Um, they're not making good choices. So you're going to communicate with this with your ex-husband or ex-wife. And it sounds like your ex-wife or ex-husband does not have the same ideals and mindsets as you do. So it's going to cause a verbal conflict there is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. You're going to be very upset after this argument. Very. Okay, I heard you're going to be very upset after this argument. Very. So it sounds like your ex-wife or ex-husband is not going to agree with um, what you're saying. Um, there's going to be clashing in ideals, clashing in belief systems, etc., etc., etc. August. A family member that is scamming another family member with a fake profile on a social media platform is about to get sued soon. Know this. Oh my God, Capricorn. Whoa. So this isn't you. This is a family member. You got heavy family member energy in here if this resonates for you. I heard it. Um, know a family member that is catfishing and frauding another family member on a social media platform. I heard no they, about, no, they are about to get sued soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one, it's Instagram. For one, it's OnlyFans. For one, it's Facebook. For one, it's Instagram. For one, it's OnlyFans. For one, it's Facebook. For one, it's YouTube. And for one, it's YouTube. So for one, it's Facebook, for one, it's uh, OnlyFans, for one, it's Instagram, for one, it's YouTube, and for one, it's TikTok, and for one, it's TikTok. So it's not you frauding and catfishing someone, it's your family member, but just know whatever platform they're frauding this, if you know about this or you don't know about this, I don't know, only you know if you know about this or not, but somebody's family member's um, frauding somebody else on a social media platform. Capricorn just saying um, but just know they're about to get sued whether you know know currently know about this fraud or not they're about to get sued and probably I'm assuming by these people by these platforms whether it's Facebook Insta um, Twitter TikTok or um, YouTube you plug it in how it resonates yikes so um, indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly in that that aspect, it, I feel as if you do know about the fraud and the catfishing, you have not reported it, is what I'm feeling. You have just been going aimlessly with it and not said anything. But for some, I feel you don't know about it, and you're going to know about it in the form of a lawsuit. Yikes. August. An Ivy League school is going to become very significant in a Capricorn's life in um, in fall time. One, you will be a professor there. One, you will be a parent of a student there. One, you will be the student. Wow, well, congrats. So, um, an Ivy League school is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life in fall. So, we have the August card, and that's in fall. Um, August, September, October, November is like fall time. Well, August is like summer. August is like summer, but I heard fall. So September, October, November, December. Um, but August, you know, like end of August is like school time. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, but I heard fall time. So September, October, November, December. One, you're going to be an instructor at this Ivy League school. One, you're going to be a student. When you're going to be a parent of the student. So you plug yourself in where you fit, Capricorn. Congrats. I I would love my child to go to an Ivy League school. I would love it, love it, love it. I hope she gets into one. Um, we still got two years of high school to go, but I hope so. Just saying, she's super smart. Super smart, and she works so hard. So congrats, whoever that's for. Um, congrats. Now, anybody doesn't know, Ivy League schools are like Yale, Harvard, um, Yale and Harvard, and I think Duke maybe one. Um, those type, uh, Ivy Leagues, uh, 
think it, I think Duke may be one. I know Yale and Harvard are Ivy Leagues. Um, I think Duke may be one too. But some kind of Ivy League school, you plug in and how it resonates for fall time. So beginning of fall semester in 2022, I'm presuming. August. Our Capricorn's life is going to look completely different by August. Making huge changes. For one, they're retiring out of Google. And they realize in the past they donated a very, 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 very large amount of money to a Libra feminine for a family but they realize this person did not give this money to this family. They're about to place a lawsuit on this person and create a series of chain events to help this family. They realize they were scammed in a huge way and they were. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so one of you guys, you work at Google. Um, I feel you're very high level. Um, you have enough to donate a very, very, very large amount of money to a family. So, I mean, you make really good money, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, but um, I heard you gave money to a Libra feminine in the past. So they could have leaves in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter charts for this family. But I heard you realize you were scammed in a huge ass way. That this person never gave the money to the family and never utilized it for the family. Um, but you are waking up now or you're about to wake up and realize this and you're about to place a lawsuit on her, it sounds like, and you're about to um, create positive series of chain events for the family. And I heard your life is going to look completely different by August. Um, you're about to retire. So you're about to retire out of Google. And so I think you're about to, um, I think you're going to travel, vacation. Um, place a lawsuit on this low vibrational Libra feminine um, that doesn't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, or values, and um, change your life by August. We're in July of 2022 now, so, you know, August um, August is only like July. That's next month. That's next month, man. So your life is going to look completely different by next month. Um, just saying, just saying. I mean, you... You're about to retire out of Google. You're about to place a lawsuit. You're, I mean, you're about to take some action, sir or ma'am. I didn't hear if you're a man or a woman. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So fast changing 555 energy here. Um, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. About to make the wheel move very fast. Huge ass scam in the past. About to make the wheel move very fast. Huge ass scam in the past is what I heard. So you're about to make the wheel move fast because of some huge ass scam in the past. So you plug it in how it resonates. Another Capricorn is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Another Capricorn is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. So another Caps, another Capricorn is getting a huge wake up call. Maybe about this person or this situation or what have you, what have you. This Capricorn that works at Google is not going to play around. This Capricorn that works at Google is not going to play around, is what I heard. So you're not going to play around, sir, ma'am. Um, and you don't sound like one you should be playing around with. Um, I will not that you should play around with anybody in a disrespectful way. But um, it sound, I mean, I heard it was a huge scam. So um, I don't blame you for placing the lawsuit. Absolutely not. And this Capricorn is about to send very significant communication to the head of household of this family. An apology and very important communication is going to create very positive series of chain events for her. Very positive. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so person that works at Google, I'm presuming high level person, sir, ma'am. I heard you're about to send, so you're going to place a lawsuit on the low, low vibrational Libra. You're going to about to retire and you're going to send um, important communication to the head of household fem energy of this family. I heard soon and quickly. Um, that's about to help her out in huge ways, um, and impo important information and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's going to help her out in huge ways. Well, congrats to you, sir, ma'am. Um, it sounds like you, you're about to do a lot. So, um, that's wonderful. You go with your bad self.
and a very significant surprise in this communication, very positive for her. And a very significant surprise in this communication, very positive for her. So it sounds like you're going to send it to her. Um, I don't know if you're going to send it text or email or snail mail, some kind of communication to the head of household fem energy uh, of the family. It sounds like the Libra Feminine was supposed to help the family out in the past, but she didn't. She just felt like she took the money and ran. But you're about to directly communicate with this um, head of household feminine energy of the family yourself. Now, I don't know if it's going to be email, text, or snail mail, but um, you're going to place some kind of significant surprise in this communication that's going to be positive for her. So congratulations, sir or ma'am. Sounds like you're... Um, you're high vibrational and um sounds like you're giving back. I mean, I think you're high level. I think you're like a board room member energy in Google or like a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. I mean, you're able to give back. I mean, I'm sure Google employees make really freaking good money, especially high level ones. Uh, I couldn't imagine what corporate makes there. I, a board member, uh, like a stake in the company makes. I mean, my God, I just could not imagine. Um, I could not imagine. I make like anywhere from forty to sixty thousand dollars a year, um, if I'm lucky. So I can I mean I'm thinking like meals here is what I'm thinking, but only you know your income, not anybody else. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Another Capricorn is about to be busted in a huge way. Someone is getting a huge and a Libra. Okay, someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Capricorn is about to be busted in a huge way in a Libra. So another Capricorn in a Libra is about to be busted in a huge way. You plug it in how it resonates. Maybe you're about to bust them, sir or ma'am, or so, another one of you guys are. You plug it in how it resonates. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. A trip to Barbados is very significant in a Capricorn's life soon. And a trip to Maui. And a trip to Florida. A trip to Barbados, a trip to Maui, and a trip to Florida is very significant uh, in a Capricorn's life soon. Well, congrats. I can't wait till I'm able to travel. I just got to get my business up and running real, real well and get my income stream flowing in really, really good. And then hopefully I can start traveling too. But I've got to build my business up first so I can do it and get my income stream up um, proper to where I can go. Because um, I don't want to um, overextend myself and go into debt. Um, I've never been that kind of person ever, and I don't want to start being that kind of person. But congrats to whoever this is for, some kind of trip to Maui, Barbados, or Florida. Only you know where you're about to travel, not anybody else. I heard Maui, Maui Barbados, and Florida. Um, so you have the money, the prosperity, and the abundance, i.e. the money, the pinnacles, to um, travel. Congratulations to whoever that is for. And a particular Capricorn is about to gift someone with a trip soon. Okay. Tickets. All-inclusive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. And a particular Capricorn is about to gift someone with a trip soon. Uh, tickets and all-inclusive is what I heard. Well, holy crap, that sounds like a freaking resort if you ask me, but I don't know. I heard all-inclusive. Um, damn, sounds like a freaking resort, but yeah, just saying, just saying. Uh, obviously, you have the money and the pinnacles to do that, um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. You plug it in how it resonates. For one Capricorn, no, an Aries is about to be in way over their head. Way over their head. Soon and quickly. It's about to go downhill in a workplace situation very quickly for them. And permanently this time. Okay. So for one of you guys, you're connected to an Aries energy, a masculine from Aries. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and many energy for your charts. It could be this person, possibly. Um, but I heard um, they're a position of high authority. They're a position of high authority. So they're a position of high authority in a workplace somewhere. So I don't know if you work with them or you are a family member, a neighbor, a community member, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Somehow you are connected to them and you know them. 
But I heard no that it's about to go downhill quickly for them in their career, basically. It's about to go downhill quickly. And I heard it's about to go downhill quickly and permanently this time. So I feel they're either going to get demoted or they're going to get terminated. How that resonates. Um, there is about to be a very, very, very significant negative event that happens. And this Aries is about to be involved with it. And it's about to be the end of their career at this company. There's about to be a very significant event, negative event that happens with this Aries at um, some the company they are employed at, I heard. Um, and it's basically about to end their career there for them. Um, you know this Aries in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it's a masculine Aries. For some, it's a femme Aries healthcare company. For some, it's a masculine Aries. For some, it's a femme Aries healthcare company is what I heard. So this masculine or feminine Aries works at a healthcare company. Um, and however that resonates, however that resonates for one, it's restaurant for one is restaurant. So for one, it's a healthcare company they work at for one, it's a restaurant they work at. Um, they could be a masculine them Aries. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, them and Hammond, Jupiter, charts, but you know, this Aries, but it sounds like I heard it's going to end their career there. So it's going to end it for them there. Um, like, like termination is what I'm feeling. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. It's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped. Um, if it resonated, I would love to know in the comment section below if you feel free to put it down there. If not, and you want to re remain private, you're welcome to text me and let me know if it resonated. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, I haven't set up my Yelp account yet because um, they want my email. I'm, I'm sorry, not my email, my website address. And um, I it, on my end, it, the business purveyor side it says it's optional well i don't have a website um so it's just kind of stuck there um i they won't activate it for me so um even though it says on my end it's optional so i've been doing the business cards out in my city so that's how i've been promoting my business i was hoping to do it through yelp but um not able to do so but anyways um if you could put that it resonates um if it does resonate for you i'd very much appreciate it I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.